Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 64 match between Mad Jake and his Pro Elves and Crucifer and his Chaos Dwarves. In the booth with me is Fimeo and Purple Chest. Hello! Hello everybody! Jesus, and we just started with a rock. <laughs> yeah, double rock, <laughs> in fact. Mm. It but it's removed an elf and only slightly banged a dwarf. A yeah. hobgoblin, to be precise, so yeah. Yep. And this is I interesting, like, Cruz's team is actually a lot higher than, than Mad Jake's, but he's got a miss next bull, so he's only got one bull for this match, which means that actually Cruz is the guy with inducements, he's got a, he's got a Bloodweiser babe. Um, really? So, yes, yeah, so that might actually, that might actually be better for him, right? Because if, if Mad Jake had the wizard, um, that could be, that could be absolutely crucial, couldn't it? Yeah, it might actually be, a, yeah, as you say, a very beneficial game for that bull to be out. I know it leaves the dwarves short. It does mean a fourth hobgoblin on the pitch, and Chaos Dwarves are never comfortable with that. But it does mean avoiding that whiz. Now, there is some history here, I believe. Uh, little Birdie told me that Mad Jake put Crucifer out of the last chalice. Yeah. Oh, good, good. A good Matt. <laughs> Yeah, this game was this game was played this morning at five a.m. So that's why we're doing it as a replay. <laughs> Pretty extreme, extreme time zone uh, scheduling. Oh, I don't like that. Okay. Mm. Well, it's becoming very, very aggressively on top of these uh, orcs, the orcs, elves. Yeah. Uh, he is all about the base. I think that's reasonable, isn't it? Because uh, yeah, you know, even even dodging on twos. That he's got tackle across the board, so so uh, you know they they haven't they're not able to use the dodges on the, on the dodges away. And one in six isn't that good odds, is it? And they're going to find it difficult to hit back. Yes, and the uh, elves are already one man down. Yes, and only three rerolls. So again, some reroll denial is is always nice to do, isn't it? Yeah. Wow, he's just removed Whoa. the job. <laughs> So yeah, I kind of didn't like going for going for the chaff when he could have just gone for a hobgoblin, but obviously it's much better to KO a hobgoblin yep. than the KO. A, sorry, much better to KO a chaff than KO a hobgoblin. So that was a brilliant. And position. it's it, yeah, followed up by allowing him to take a, a supplementary hit on a hobgoblin and create a stun. There's now a real outage over this side of the perch. Yeah, you can get another hit as well, can't you, on a two plus? You can. Wait, what? He absolutely should, because it would have got that elf off the dwarf as well, which I'd have thought yes. would have been a good thing to do. But it was just one D, right? He's taking it as a one D. He gets the wrestle. Yeah, so he I mean, it was a two. It was a two plus, so it's fine. Yeah. yeah. And it's a much safer screen that the bull can't dodge through. So yep. it's and it protects it's his, his good players behind, doesn't it? Yep. The strength four yeah, AV yeah. six catcher. <laughs> wow, strength four rackle dodge catcher is great, but AV six is really bad. Yeah, I I don't see a big future for it, Jim. No. But then with only one bull, these these chaos doors really are going to lack mobility wow. all the way through this game. Yep, another failed pom. Yep. Yeah, this is really looking a shoddy. Oh god, another cars! Oh my god, what is happening here? Well, at least this time it is a hobgoblin. So, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, it did. It's a bit better when you strength five. <laughs> but yeah, the strength four, the strength four makes him makes him a little bit more hittable. Suddenly, there's a huge gap in the middle of well, everywhere. Yeah, wow. it's, it's, <laughs> it's really this is really uh, pretty brutal, isn't it? It is. It's it's not the start that Crucifer would have been looking for. Oh. But if there's anyone likely to not panic and coach his way back into it with a chaos dwarf, it's Crucifer. Huge reroll. There's no screen at all. He's got to reroll this. <laughs> Just. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know how you managed very, to make it. It's very casual to have moved all but one of your elves and still have your ball that much at risk. It yeah. is. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. mad, Jake, isn't it? It, it is. Do you, you see what I did there, Jim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now the AB6 is getting a punch in the face. 
yes with tackle yeah me, but well, it definitely has to yeah yeah there's no other play i think even if the ball was unprotected you'd still be tempted to hit that guy <laughs> like you would have to hit the ball wouldn't you you'd absolutely have to hit the ball there but you'd still be tempted to hit him <laughs> yeah, you'd be bitterly regretting that they'd left their ball exposed oh my god oh come on <laughs> it, it broke armor chip unbelievable unbelievable i know unbelievable. I know. Ooh, he re I bet he really wanted a GFI there, he didn't he? Really wanted to foul it, didn't he? <laughs> well, yeah. No, I think he's fine where he is actually because he can't be hit, and it's just as much trapping the elf. Yeah, but but getting the pom hit if at the end is yeah, really nice, it, it, isn't it? Yeah, you wanna, it is. You want to be able to threaten yes. that, but like Cruz is but you, you, super you can, conservative. There was no you way you could push it onto it with the ball. No, there was no way he was doing that GFI. Yeah. Not while there's a hole in my bum. Yeah. See, I even used bum for you. I'm being all family friendly. Thanks very much, PC. <laughs> Say arse. <laughs> you just did. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, dear. I took this conscious decision to be based on comedy, yes. not because I forgot. Yep. Oh God, here we go. Oh, but takes the takes the skull. I think that's uh, the right thing to do. Yep. Yes. Yep. Survives also. it as well. It's. Uh, Pleased to see that. He sells all over Crucifer right now. But he, do, he does push into the pong. He it. <laughs> pushes into the pong because he had no choice. Yep. <laughs> Doesn't knock him over. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <sighs> this is. Oh my god. Didn't make it three dice as well. He could have put in the. Uh, no. Could have put in the hobble for three dice. But there is. A, there is. In the words of Yoda, there is another. Uh, well, there is one more dwarf. Oh that my can have a god! Could he have worse dice? Another, another non-knockdown. Finally gets the guard. I think we may see a Catch frustration foul now, right? And doesn't even break the armor. That um, guard player. Or this, the, there's two the lovely players kicking either of those in the face. I'm fully about Jim. Yeah, the strength fall. The armor six as well, isn't it? So yeah, he was always going to go for the strength fall. Gets the gets the KO. It's the move. Finally, something good happened. Only just though he rolled a four on the armor. He was so close to getting the cars. If he'd just rolled a five on the armor and a nine on the injury, it'd have been all right. Wow, this is real bad dice for Cruz so far, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, there's, there's just no denying it. But I mean, he's I supposed to spin it round. He hasn't suffered that much since the removal of the hobgoblin no um there's plenty of time for him to get back into this he'd have come in knowing that if he you know, gets the elves down over time that's fine oh jesus <laughs> okay um but i mean the, the problem isn't so much that he's not going to score or that he's lost a hobgoblin or there's a couple of ko's all of that should be sorted out because of nothing it probably won't be but it should be the problem is he's not getting anywhere into these elves jim yeah yeah, this is tricky. That's very hard to beat 11 Pro Elves. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. think uh, Crucifer was okay with the Pro Elves scoring. Very difficult to stop them from scoring when they had 11 uh, Elves. Yeah, you'd expect them to have... You, you, the cost should be paid in two or three Elf lives, and it just hasn't been. Yeah. But yeah, this is, yeah it's tough. It's, re it's real tough. And especially... Like, especially, it's going to sound maybe it's too critical, but especially, like, Cruz is, like, super conservative, isn't he? So he's he's less likely, I think, to try something that maybe, you know, he should try if it starts to slip away, if you see what yeah. I mean. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I absolutely agree. I think his next sort of step forwards, if, I mean, I could be patronising enough to suggest someone as good as him needs to take one in any way. Um, would probably be to, to be that bit more controlled, aggressive at times. Find those moments to spring like a scorpion stinging a frog midstream. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> 16th, 1 in 9. <laughs> yeah, it's something like that. We need Artemis for this game, but yeah, there's been a lot of 1 in 9s. But you know he's still got a bit of threat there. But yeah, you'd imagine you'd imagine Magic should be able to stall this out now. Maybe he should be taking a bit of a higher line so that he can, you know, he can. Yeah. Away so there's it. a fall back position to the yeah. better stall, which he wants to be in next turn. Yes. He yeah, might exactly. be there a turn early. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is where I would have wanted to have been on turn seven, not turn six. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it should still be fine, shouldn't it? Yes, but I, he needed these last dodges to work to really put the people where I would have been putting them from the beginning, which is yes. that second layer slightly further out. Yeah. yeah. Not because you want that space, because you want the space to be able to withdraw from into a tighter space to stall the next turn. Yeah. But this will probably... However, it's, a, it's one bull and hobgoblins. I mean, even two turning for chops is going to be very tricky with only one bull. And like you just can't get that heat on anyway. Like looking at it, even though he's done this, like how it's going to be the very, heat? very hard. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can you can go through as he is trying to go through the corner catcher and onto it, but it's it it shouldn't really work well ah. no. unless you get the removal, which he did. Okay, so now you can at least get ball contact. Yep. He might yeah. be able to force him in here, Jim. We all they like needed that removal ball contact, don't we? We do. Yes. <laughs> You can watch, keep them fresh, and stay hopeful. That's my tips. <laughs> you might see a GFI now. Way. Hey. Oh. Such blatant, reckless disregard for the fact that could have failed. <laughs> now, it gets his power. Does he think... I mean, he can stall this. It's, it's yeah. obviously doable. He just needed that power to be a power. If it was a push, it was bad. But yeah, he doesn't stall it. But he doesn't. Goes for the score. I, mean, I think it'd be fine. I think he can hold these CD up for two turns. Yeah, I think so too. But I also think that he should have stalled a bit, a bit further out, so he could have pulled back to that and then scored. Yeah, turn I completely agree. Uh, dear Ben, if you're here, what he's going to have to do in this is something that you uh, perhaps should have a think about for your next run in the chalice. He's going to try and defend. <laughs> well, no one came back for crucifer having a babe. Concept's a new one to you, but he's going to uh, use his team to try and stop the Chaos Dwarf team getting the ball and moving forwards towards scoring. <laughs> uh, the play Blood Bowl have found that to be a relevant concept. Uh, concept. Yeah, brutal Chaos. Just have a think about it. Three, four, think. <laughs> three four pluses failed for Mad Jig and two three pluses failed for Cruz. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh, PC. Yeah, it's interesting, this, isn't it? Two two turn chance. There's a, there's a shot. Not much of a shot, admittedly, but there is a shot. Two re rolls as well. And Cruz is really good at two turns, actually. Really good. Yeah, at two I turns. think he. I think we'll see him throw the bull one flank. Um, this is a terrible, terrible setup from the elves. He can throw the bull up one flank without even having to blitz a hole because he's just left it wide open on both flanks for just. Awful, awfulness. And then uh, push a couple of hobgoblins with it. I would try and push one hobgoblin the other way, uh, and then still have one to pick up with. Uh, this is—it's it, almost your dream scenario, bar the second book being off the page. These elves are just in the wrong places. Yeah. Look at all the position he can get without even having to throw a single block. Of course, he blocks first, but he, he could have done. Uh, hobgoblin yeah, he goes up the left. <laughs> He could have done. Oh dear. Yeah, had he wanted to play well. Um, that, <laughs> yes, okay, so that one goes up the left around the back, so that gives him the second throw of the other side of the field. Beautiful. Exactly where it should be. I'd have hit with the central one, so that one was able to move left and screen the ball pickup area, but it's fine. Yeah. I don't think it matters much, does it? Not hugely. Have, I, I'm not loving his blocking pattern. It is a little. Yeah, it is a bit little. A little over hitty. Yeah. It looked like he was ensuring he had secondary blocks on the line of scrimmage, which really isn't the priority this turn. Mm. But it's, he's getting it done because, you know, he's, he's good at what he does. And that is how Christopher likes to play. Yeah. Interestingly, not using the bull as a receiver, using it as an elf um, interferer. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, and that final hobgob, can it risk it? It is risking it. Wow, that's oh. feisty. Yeah, this is very Okay, rowdy. I think that's... Maybe he's too rowdy. Oof. Uh, yeah, I... 
I mean, I'd come for the ball here if I was the elves. Yeah. But he's like not. No, no, that one he's just moved is yeah, the one that would come for the ball. Yeah, that was the assist, wasn't it? And then the wrestle could have sacked. Whoop, he's yep. rolled a one. He's rolled a flippin' one. Yeah, I did it the once, though, Jim. Yep. Well, this is just, I mean, it, it, there was a lot of problems going into this turn, mainly because of his awful setup on turn one um, of this drive. But uh, I don't feel that was the turn, Jim, that was the right answer to it. Oh, he's all in on the power, though. He's all in on the 3D power. He doesn't Close get it. He doesn't get it. Gets it now. Yeah, but yes, but no. I wonder if it, you know, you could have just hit it with the wrestler, right? Yeah. You could have just hit with the wrestler. Yeah, right? yeah, he's absolutely. And, and then if you don't get it, then hand off to the bull, and then and then ah, but then you, yeah, then you've already blitzed, though, haven't you? Ah, no, I guess this is better. And he gets completely the, unpunished. There you go. Yeah, three plus two plus works. And magic. That is why <laughs> you should have had a looser a looser cage so that you could have repeated yeah. and scored and turn eight because leaving cruiser two turn is not a good idea. Which meant on turn five you had to make sure enough pieces were free. That on turn six, not only did you stall in the right square, your defence was double layered and slightly further out. So that for turn seven you just had say two to three dodges to make to reconvene a solid defence. Yeah. To be in that much control and to still have to be forced to score two turns early, and particularly when it seems you're not very good at stopping short drives, is. Yeah. Something to certainly think about how that happened. Yeah, he just, he just went too tight, didn't he? If he if he had if he yeah. had, if he had screened out here on the turn six, then he could have yeah. withdrawn exactly. to there. But he but he stalled yeah. here, which meant that he had nowhere to go. Yeah. Yes, he saw where he wanted to be, and he went there way too early. Uh, and as you said, instead of thinking, how do I fall back to there when I need to be there, he went, oh, I can go where I need to be. Mm -hmm. um, and then towards the end of that turn, he started to think, oh, how do I ensure I can stay there? Um, <laughs> but that's the wrong way. <laughs> For those wondering what I didn't like about the setup, uh, everything. But principally, that I, you know, the Chaos Dwarves were able to go down both flanks without even blitzing. Yeah. Um, my setup would have made sure they had to at least blitz to go down either flank. And probably restricted them to one flank, allowing me to focus my defence into one area. Yeah. No, that's a wrong. That's a wrong command from ages ago. Never mind. The ball is missing this game. Yeah, the other ball, yeah, the other ball was... The other ball was like an edge three ball. Um, and that might have lost him the game, but the horrendous uh, KO rolls, isn't it, for Magic there? Right? He, yes, they're really, really bad there. Shocking, yeah. What have we got? 11, 11 for the chaffs. There's one gone, and there's only nine, only nine elves left now. Yes, I think the apple for the elves will go for a KO in the second half. Yeah, I guess so. Sad to say, it, Jimmy, I think the elves have blown us. A little bit, yeah, and they might have lost anyway, I... right? They might have lost anyway yeah. in in overtime, but yeah, I think I mean I think it's obvious that they've blown it, yeah. And now they need to find some way of getting back into this situation. So that changes your risk profiles. Yep. You've got two guard pieces, you need to accept, and it looks like he is doing exactly what I would want him to do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Good stuff from Magic. So you need to go with the pro elf way of attacking, which is you smother. And you know you're not going to last, you know you're going to die. So you have to get in and get it done and get it done quickly. So you have to go full commitment. That means every elf gets involved. No screens, no hangbacks. Everybody should be getting up there, taking hits, or making sure hits are choosing between three different elves because they can't hit all three. Yep. La, the mighty blow of Blitzer is a yeah, beast. Yeah, I might have kept the plus agility out of this, but I feel there's one too many elf kept out of this at least. Yeah, yeah, you do feel like this guy should have done something. Oh, 
Yeah, absolutely horrendous KO rolls this game. Oh my god, he got wrestled. That makes the turn a bit trickier. Yeah. Oh god, he's got a frenzy hobble. Oh my god. This is nuts, isn't he? He's got to hit the sidestepper. Doesn't get the pow. Takes the both down. I hate a frenzy hop go. Um, Hits the sidestepper. Doesn't get the push, oh, luckily. Jesus, wow. <laughs> yeah. But also still not a, a pow. Yep. Boy, howdy. Well, he's in, a, he's in a bit of a pickle. He's in a bit of a pickle! Boy, howdy. This is going to be 2D on the ball, surely. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe. Oh, yeah, okay. So, he, oh, no, but then he hasn't got a go. Should he have uh, done some... Oh, he's got the blitz still, hasn't he? But, yeah, he just goes for the uphill. Yikes. Wow, yeah, I feel it's like one of those he... things that works all the time against me. You rarely see it against other people, do you? Yeah, I feel like he should have done something there. Like, he should have blitzed with the guard and got the guard in somehow, but... Mm -hmm. Never mind. <laughs> Thanks. Point is, Jim, he is, he is trapped. He's up there, he's causing problems, he's in his face, and that's, at the moment, that's the Pro-Health route to victory. Yep. Yeah, I feel like... It's also their route to, to do team that. deletion, but, you know, that, that's constant for Pro-Health anyway, so... Yep. Oh yeah, like he's aware he's on a clock, isn't he? And, and like he's got to make something happen now. So yeah, this is for sure the way to do it. And obviously Chris has got to try. Love that. Oh, I don't know. No. I, mean, I suppose he's at a numbers point where he can, but it... no, he's he's got to stabilise, hasn't he? He's got a full cage if he doesn't pile on. Got to. And like, okay, he's he's still got like nearly a full cage here, but this is a weak this is a weak dodge, isn't it? It this is. is a isn't it? Dodge, it is. Yeah. yeah I... Four plus without tackle instead of five plus with tackle. Um, and maybe his guard was the guard in the corner. Wow, another removal. He's really he's tearing through these. Uh, yeah, there's guard there. So like it's it's stops, it takes guard off the corner and it makes yep. it a four plus dodge. That's yeah. Now when, when I said I you know I said earlier that I don't mind piling on if it's with claw the, the maths are fantastic for that and of course piling against eighty seven is always piling on as if it's with claw but there's still times to think does it destabilize me does it reduce my defensive options is it am I going to miss it when it's on the floor and to me that was one wasn't worth doing yeah huge apple and I think he was going to blitz the ball there wasn't he and I think maybe he should have rerolled that was, dodge yeah. because he had the tag he had the he had yeah. the natural dodge for the one day so I think he probably should have rerolled that dodge in and then got the one day because again he is in a desperate situation and every every turn that he isn't getting the ball he's getting hit more and yeah. Chris is getting more secure isn't he so I really think he should have he should have rerolled that that dodge and at some point the chorps are going to start killing people every town well, you, you've got to imagine that's happening. Anyone that's coached pros will tell you that you almost never think, oh, well, if I just, I'll just tank through this half and win the next half, because you won't have any elves left. Yeah, no, I think he had to re-roll that one. I think that was a mistake, and I think now that's probably the death knell of that this is. game and team. <laughs> but they still have chances, Magic. He will still have chances, won't he, probably? Could chain here to get this guy on the ball, but, I mean, it'll be on uphill, probably. Willie, you do need some things cancelled, and perhaps an elf that realistically might look and fetch it. So, and that is maybe a bit different elf to the one that's going in and doing things to the ball. And we are running very low on elves now. Well, we are also better running very low in uh, chorps. Oh, it's down for anyway. True, yes, yeah. the chorps. It is. It's the whole goblins of the, of the lone bull that's getting it done. <laughs> it's been an odd game of blood bowls tonight, hasn't it? The, the armour has been very weird. I mean, it's not that Volk, it's the fact that it's 1-1 instead of 1-0 up, right? That's that's the thing. That's yeah. the thing, because he scored early and it's 1-1. If he was 1-0 up, he wouldn't be in desperation. Hold him 1-0. No, no, if fine. he was 1-0 up, he could have just laid down for the whole half or, like, you know, done... He had millions of options if he'd... If he if he was 1-0 up, but at 1-1, one, at one, one, he's just... He's got to play like a lunatic, and... Uh, 
There's even, I, it's disgusting, and elves should be ashamed, but there's even the option of pretending you're running away, getting a couple of them to follow you, murder those, and then home in on the cage and see if you've got time to sort it out. Yep, that is a, that is a classic elven strike. Oh, we're going to run away. Oh, we're going to run away. Ah, oh, we're going to kill you. <laughs> it's, the elves are so evil. <laughs> Chris just allowing the uphill there. Fair enough. Maybe not fair enough though, because that's I think that's probably the best chance he's yeah. gonna get. So I think you go for this as magic. I think you have to. Yep. You are into those edge situations, so any anything that gives you a two percent sliver of equity, add five or six of those together and suddenly there's a realistic I would like, chance. I would like that he moved the guard and all that, you know, like yeah. this because if he gets the uphill and gets it yeah. that yeah. guard could have been able to eat it. He's, he's just going to mighty Receive blow. Receive the ball or something like that. Okay, yes, he's mighty blow. Another hot goblin. <laughs> yeah, when he moved there, he was always just going to mighty blow. Him, yeah, he's going to kill it. But, um, I really that guy know. hates hot goblins, you know? <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> he's the Jason Voorhees of goblins. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> well, like... he kind of loves them because they, they die to his blows. <laughs> they flee before him. Uh, and now, yes, Christmas got this beautifully stable, but we've got a classic situation of a nice stable Chaos Dwarf cage just over the halfway line, um, facing some lovely elf curtains. Mm. Yeah, I think why, he probably Why there? there? You've left a gaping hole again! Hmm. <laughs> love a hole. A hole. But I mean, surely now, surely now he's going to get 2D on the ball, or at least 1D on the ball, but 2D on the ball. Surely, surely we're going to see 2D on the ball. Nope. Um, he, can still, he can still do this, he can still put the guard in. And the diving tackle is AG3. He's, he's just blitzed, he's just blitzed PC, he can just... Uh... Yeah, he can just come in and, and squeeze them, just just smother them, people all around them. Hmm. Just stand next yeah. to them. Elves are all around you. Kill the claw bomber for the next opponent, classic. He's got two sidesteppers on the ball, that's alright, isn't it? It is, yeah. I mean, it is. It's the, it's the classic pro elf smother, isn't it? Yeah, and he has he has removed so many pit players now. Yeah, that it's uh, the chores are so cool. light on numbers. There's no way they can hit their way out of this. I think they just have to keep doing what they're doing, trying to make some progress, trying to keep guard around the ball. Whoa, he's got a GFI there. We got to reroll the GFI there. So. Oof. Oof. He's got a pow here, but he still did, like he didn't mark this guy. You got to mark this guy, haven't you? You know, like you got to, you got to. Surely you've got to go in with everything you've got here. Like these two guys stood doing nothing. Surely they had to do things. I absolutely agree with that, Jim. Um, it's all men's or no men's when I play pro elves, but certainly here when you're so many men up already. But Cruz just stays where he is and bangs everyone down. So there you go. So much, for his, so much for he won't be able to just hit everything, and it's exactly what he does, and he's got a cage. Incredible. He's still got the uphill on the ball if he wants. Rolls a one. Reroll comes in. Oh my god, he's making a canoring threat. Jesus he is. Christ. Well, if he's planning or to win they... in regular time. <sighs> I mean, who can say if it's good or bad? <laughs> who can say? <laughs> well, none of us truly, Jim. Yeah. Yeah. No, nobody knows. Definitely. A lifetime of experience of playing Blood Bowl, of seeing every outcome, of knowing the maths and the fundamental working principles of this game better than I know my own children's birthdays certainly hasn't taught me what could ever be a good or a bad thing. It's exactly. Unlovely. Exactly. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Oh, look, this guy isn't going to get the score. What a so shocker. Lovely. That's a shocker. 
Maybe he could have stood in the way. I, 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 don't, I mean, I don't know. But maybe he could have. Maybe he's come back and tried to stand somewhere vaguely in the way. But instead, he was in the other half. <laughs> And now the pro elves have the chance of the one turn for the overtime. Yep, oh, finally KO's come back. Everybody wants to be in the photo finish of the game. Yep. So 10. 10 players, uh, although there's three stand firm on the OS. So, the one turn. Not looking especially likely. <laughs> he needs a riot. Yeah, not hugely. <laughs> he needs a riot, doesn't he? That's it. That's all we're looking for now is a riot. Yeah. So other questions become, um, you know, of interest. Is there any point to try to foul one of these chorfs out? Nah, it's just, it's just me to Chris, isn't it? Yeah. But then in not fouling him is mean to his opponent, is, is the alternative. So he probably should just make a 3D and a massive foul. Should have made it a 3D though, shouldn't he? If he could have, maybe he couldn't actually. Oh, the Dublé Skulls. See you later. All right. He wasn't a hot goblin this time, pal. He wasn't a hot goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! It's done. And and Cruz gets an MVP on his sure hands hobble, so he gets blocked for him. That's that was a nice little pickup, wasn't it? Yep. Block what a lovely there. moment, Jim. Neither of us knew, but when we said no, that stall is wrong, it needs to be further out so you can fall back and stall again. Uh, who knew how prophetic that would be? I think that changed the entire game. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That that was the absolute crucial mistake from Mad Jake, and you know he had he had ten players there, didn't he? Even after like he did. playing in in you know maybe some more aggressive style than he would have wanted to have played that half, he still ended up with ten yep. players for overtime if if he could have got there. So yeah, that was. Oh, I liked yeah. his very aggressive monstering of the cage in the second half. It was the only sense boy trying to get it done. He tried that. If we'd seen a bit more of that, perhaps um, you know earlier in that drive or. I don't know, but it, it, yeah, it, that stall was was not right, was it? it? It didn't need to be that near in, and when it was, and then there was a fail before he got the final elves into place. Yep. No chance to stall. Even then, there was a chance when he got the first hit, yeah. and I said it was a power. If it hadn't been a power, he couldn't have stalled. But as it was a power, yeah. there was enough space to stall. Yeah, I agree. He, should have, he, he could have still tried to stall. It, it, it would have been tricky, like with a, the bull with a break tackle, would have made things annoying, and like sure, the but... was getting in and everything. But yeah, obviously. That's the thing, isn't it? You've got to assess the equity and that, how much chance mm. you think the opponent's got of scoring the two-turn. Like, you oh. know, how good your opponent is, how good you think you are, how good the teams are. It well, I mean, I, I, yeah, I, I do wonder in my heart if Mad Jake has a realistic opinion of his own ability to stop a two-turn. Um, because my opinion of his ability to stop a two-turn with Chaos Dwarves is not very high, having seen that. Yeah, that's the oh. thing. And, and Cruz is really good at two-turning. He is, yes. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, there's no one least rather face is that to some degree on paper only one bull all that you say okay two turn very difficult you know something like that but again you're against crucifer so it's like I'm you never doesn't... give crucifer a chance of anything no never. you really shouldn't if you're if you're if you're on top of him don't take your foot off his neck you know, keep pressing it down he will get back up he will fight his way back into the game there you go and um, so uh, thank Ford, you we really enjoyed your game earlier by the way just don't watch the vote yeah, yeah, don't watch the VOD. I mean, you, well, you can't watch it on YouTube anyway because I'll have to make another video for the YouTube because uh, OBS crashed. Um, right, thank you very much, <laughs> PC and Fimea. That was absolutely glorious of you uh, yeah, commentating, sure. as always. And uh, Always a pleasure. Thank you very much. And uh, congratulations to Crucifer. Commiserations to Magic. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. Stay fantastic. <laughs>